All right, guys. I am, uh, like I said, I'm going to start working on showing you how to replace the cord and also replace the motor. Um, or at least have access to the motor and also how to put it back together. That's kind of the focus. So we're not going to be repairing the motor. Uh, we're probably not even going to be putting an actual new cord in, but at least how to get access to it. Okay, guys. Now, uh, the most of this video, I'm not going to be really explaining things. You're just going to be kind of seeing me operate. But what I want you to do is I'm using this method today because I think it's going to be a lot easier for the camera, but I'm going to write uh, the parts of the machine that the screws are coming from. So what you can do, you can get a sheet of paper, put body, put cover, uh, put nozzle, you know, things like that. And so this way you can also remember exactly where to put the screws because some of the screws are skinny and long and some of them are short and stubby. So you, you don't want to kind of lose your place there. Okay guys. So enjoy the video. Uh, again, this video is based uh, off of a request, and uh, we, sometimes we get so busy. Continue to put your request in because I, I may be able to get to it. I and mean, if for some reason I haven't uh, gotten to it, just d feel free to request it again, okay? All right, enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. And if you do want to support the channel, we have a t-shirt page. You can buy one of our t-shirts. You can even just support if you don't want a t-shirt. Go to MonroeVacuums.com. Go to the link that says uh, support. And then they'll have an option for you to support the channel. And uh, so we appreciate all of you for tuning in.
this is a very specific video for a request that I, I had for how to put the machine back together now that you have it taken apart and you, you were messing with the motor, changing the motor, changing the cord or something of that nature. And now we have to put everything back together. So uh, just kind of sit back and relax and watch this go through. This is not a textbook style uh, type of uh, uh, tutorial. Um, so I'm going to maybe start and then maybe stop, pause myself, say, wait a second. Um, I don't remember doing it this way. And, you know, the kind of the way we would do it at home. Okay, guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So I'll probably make some of the same same mistakes that you, you would, but you're going to see how I find my way through it. Okay. So um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do, like I, I, I said, and uh, we're going to go from there. Okay. So. If you notice what I did is I have uh, cups. Now you don't have to do cups. You can do a sheet of paper. You can do anything else. But I have something that you can uh, identify where the screws go, all right? Uh, this is for my cover. This is for the nozzle. You know, uh, I have the, the cover one. Cover one meant that uh, it's the first set of screws that I ran into when I am trying to get through uh, the motor cover right and then there's a second set of screws which is motor cover two so i just did that because they're different well no actually they're not different size they're all the same size look they're, they're both the same size so it doesn't matter you could just do motor cover all right anyway so i just did this to kind of establish myself and um i use a drill i just kind of very very delicate with it take my time with the drill if you um if you notice that uh the the plastic is a little brittle just use a regular standard screwdriver um but um uh, we're gonna go from there all right so the rest of this video is just gonna be uh just probably maybe some music background or something like that and uh you're just gonna watch me put it back together okay so take your time slow it down whatever you need to do so we can go through this all right okay enjoy <laughs> 